everybody, it's me Sandy and I'm back with another nail art video. This time it's all about penguins and snowflakes. So if you'd like to see how I got this look, just keep watching. Starting off with clean dry nails, I put on a coat of my favorite base coat, Anchor by Zoya. After that was dry, I painted my feature nails with Positive Energy by Nicole. I like to paint my feature nail first so that I don't accidentally paint it the main color. Then I painted the rest of my nails Frostbite by China Glaze. All the links will be in the description box. It did take a couple of coats to get the opacity I was looking for. After letting both coats dry, I then followed up with my Armor Top Coat. I do like to use a top coat before I stamp because I think it leads to a clearer image. After my top coat was dry, it was time to start stamping. All my stamping supplies did come from Clear Jelly Stamper, and the link will be in the description box. The first stamping plate I'm using is Christmas Trees, and the reason I'm using this one is because I really liked the size of the snowflakes, and I'm using those for my feature nail. I did end up using different snowflakes on each feature nail, but you'll see the right hand feature nail in the reveal. What you can't really see off camera is that I was using a mini lint roller to pull off some of the extra stamping polish that I had gotten on my stamper before placing it on my nail so that cleanup was a lot easier. I think that blue snowflake looks so pretty on that silver polish. Ooh, and it does. Now it's time to get started with the penguins. This is such a great layered stamping plate. It's going to be so much fun to work with. I'm just going to give it a quick clean before I get started. I started off with my Molten Silver Stamping Polish, and I was working on the swirls. Now you can see that, one, I've put too much polish on, and two, I've scraped it too hard. So I was having issues with my stamping, but all those issues were definitely user error. So I had to start again with the Molten Silver. I love the fact that I can look down the barrel of my stamper and see exactly where I want to stamp it. But as you can see, sometimes I have a little bit of trouble deciding. I decided to try using a lint roller to clean my stamper head this time, but I wish I had stuck with a low acetone nail polish remover, which is fine for the clear jelly stamper, because that lint roller stuck to everything, including me. I added a bunch more silver swirls to the rest of my nails, except for my future nail, before moving on to silver snowflakes. After adding some snowflakes and the words let it snow, it was time to move on to the penguins. These are layered stamping plates, so to do the penguins, I first start off with the white body that's the base of the penguin. You can see with just the base, the penguin doesn't really look like much yet, but when we add the next layer, you'll really see the detail. And he'll just come to life. I always seem to have so much trouble trying to decide where to place my image. My thumb it is. Now it's time for the second layer, which is the outline of the penguin's body, which I'm doing in black. Because the stamper is clear, I can actually see where I'm placing the black over top of the white, hence the ability to actually be able to layer it. I can see it. Unfortunately, how I had my hand, you can't. For my pinky and my index finger, I decided to do both white parts and then proceed to the black. Even with the clear stamper, I did manage to mess up the black outline of my poor little penguin on my pinky, so I ended up just stamping over with the white again and then again with the black to fix that image. That worked really well. After that I decided I needed more snowflakes and added some white ones. After I added more snowflakes I then added hats and scarves for my cute little penguins. These are also layered images, so first I laid down the color followed by the outline in black and in some cases some pom-poms in white. As you can see, I really loved adding more snowflakes to my design. It was a lot of fun. The hardest part was deciding if I had enough snowflakes. After I was all done stamping my multi-layered designs, it was time for top coat. Armor by Zoya, of course. So that I didn't mess up my nice stamped design, I made sure to float my top coat. That way the bristles from my top coat brush wouldn't smear the images. It would not be fun to have spent all that time on the design and then screw it up with the top coat. 
I really love how this look turned out. I think these penguins are adorable, and I can't wait to use this stamping plate again. I just wish I had done a better job filming it. I guess Santa better bring me a new filming camera. Thank you so much for watching, and if you could please do me a quick favor and hit that like button, as well if you could subscribe and hit the post notifications so you can find out when I upload a new video. Thank you for watching, and have a wonderful day.